Hey YouTube, this is your girl Lucky, just doing my video here for Butch Femme Discussion Channel. This week um, we are talking about a subject that's kind of sensitive for a lot of us, and the reason that it may be sensitive is because we've either dealt with it personally or um, known someone that has gone through it, whether directly or indirectly, and how it affects us and other people, and and um, just really the meaning of um, abuse isn't just physical abuse. I personally can talk about it um, in the sense or manner that I know about it because it's happened to me. And even though we're not um, talking about physical abuse, I can tell you that emotional abuse is different forms, just like other types of abuse, as far as the fact that it starts off with one thing and it can escalate into another thing, and it really can be damaging. And sometimes that's all that the victim might receive, and a lot of times it's not. For me, for example, I had been through emotional abuse several different times with even more than one person. And in a way, I felt like numb to the whole situation because I was born into abuse, basically. Had always been around some type of abuse, some way, shape, or form. And um, I really thought that it was a way of life. You know what I'm saying? It took me a long time to realize the difference and that I'm not the problem and it's not my fault and that these people who do these things, um, they're unstoppable sometimes and they're uncontrollable. And what sad words or crazy words might sound once or twice turn into something a hundred or a thousand times, it's just very overwhelming and can almost be more damaging than physical abuse. Unfortunately for me, um, the, the emotional abuse that I went through turned into something else extremely fast. Um, I can't believe that some people go through some of the stuff that they go through and I didn't really realize it for myself it was like literally see no evil hear no evil speak no evil I um, just figured that you know it was my fault and my problem and um, until I started getting hurt more through my heart and my eyes and my soul and my spirit and then it literally physically showing and rubbing off and um, taking a toll on the people around me. Um, I began to realize that that this person is never going to change. That they they need help. And if they didn't get help, I was the one paying for it and going to pay for it. And I did. So um, it's sad and it's amazing at the same time. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I guess I'm... I'm very curious at why and how people get the way that they do and I know we can't sit and spend all the time in the world thinking this out. However, I am like that sometimes because I always believe in um, giving people a chance and not judging them. But when, when you go through so much stuff with somebody, regardless of who they are in your life, it's not a fun experience. Um, it's it's detrimental. I mean, really. I mean, I was extremely depressed. I was extremely hurt. My weight was fluctuating. My hair was falling out. People at work were just starting to ask me questions. My friends stopped talking to me. My family was making fun of me. I mean, it was just all these crazy things, you know, and I turned to, um, you know, making bad choices for myself to just try to get over it, and it didn't help. You know, then it ended up being where something extreme measures happened, and I ended up losing my job. I ended up losing some of my soul as far as like things that were being done to me, um, like the emotional turned into physical for me. So, I mean, I suffered the consequences and when I heard doctors talk about surgery and <laughs> medications and um, therapy forever that I was like, er, but it was too late. So, um, it was years ago and I'm still paying the price for it and there's times where I think and know that I always will I just have to have as many good days as I possibly can to try to overcome them and it's not always easy there's sometimes where I really don't think about it I can really get over it and I'm okay and then there's other times where I'm not and you know I just have my sad bad days and actually today um is November 12th I'm gonna do this a couple days early but um, it's my son's birthday, and I love that it's his birthday, and I'm very happy and proud for him. However, um, my son was supposed to be a twin, and because of the abuse that I went through, I lost the other baby. And it is kind of sad for me. It's very, very sad for me. I'll show you some pictures either before or after or during this video that I did um, some art and recovery of art, um, like healing projects to try to help me 
this was a few years ago and it has been healing and it does help but as, as I was taking some of the stuff out I started to get just my eyes full of tears and I'm breaking out all over the place and it's just kind of nerve-wracking but it's okay to cry and it's okay to talk about it and in a way I'm kind of glad that I'm doing this it's kind of strange how it all happened in this week or whatever but um, I think everything happens for a reason. And like I've said before, I don't like all the things that have happened to me. I definitely don't appreciate them, need them, deserve them. And it took me a long time to figure that out, that I'm worthwhile. I'm a worthwhile woman, and I deserve to be treated with respect. Now, my partner at the time was a heterosexual man, so I thought, or whatever, who knows. But anyways, um, me being a lesbian or in the bisexual community or whatever you are, you can go through same-sex abuse, you can th go through domestic violence as far as a family member doing it, and yes, physical abuse and emotional abuse and mental abuse and all that is a crime. So it's up to us to take a stand and get these people prosecuted and heal for ourselves and heal for other people so that we can be strong and unite and you know have prevention and education and awareness because it, it happens a lot. It really happens a lot and more than you know and words hurt and feelings get hurt and it takes a lot from us and it takes a lot from the people around us and I hate it when it happened to me and my family and my friends because it did affect a lot of people um, but I also hate that it happens to other people you know what I'm saying so what one person you know says that emotional abuse or whatever um, sometimes mental abuse or spiritual abuse um, doesn't affect you and it's not as hard or bad the scars are inside the scars are in your heart and your soul and your head and when you cry you bleed or cut yourself but they don't always see that so you do hurt and it does hurt and it's um, very emotional and, and very long-lasting and it's not fair and it's not right but I just encourage everybody to try to understand it and um, I'm sorry if you've gone through it but please get help and please know that there is other people out there like you and it's not your fault and it's not your problem and there's sadly several hundreds and millions of people probably I'm maybe exaggerating but I don't know the statistics but it's a lot of people that are in jail and prison because of crap like this and I've actually known people personally um, while I was going through some of this stuff was it was hiding out in a women's shelter or um, going to a women's group finding out what some of these people had gone through and what the perpetrator had done and um, some people didn't make it out you know what I'm saying and one person I didn't get to go to her funeral and she was used to be my best friend in high school and we left on bad terms so every day that breaks my heart and I think of her rest in peace Nicole and another person that I was close to and only knew her for a short time her name was Lynette and um, she actually wasn't killed by her perpetrator um, but she was hiding out in a shelter and was killed because I don't know maybe she looked the other way but the lady that was lying to be in there was a heroin addict and decided to rob her the day that she got paid and here she was just a hard-working woman trying to be you know faithful and gave her life over to the Lord and you know just went to bed literally with a smile on her face and trusted the people around her and just needed a place to stay to get away from her husband she was actually trying to work things out with him but they just couldn't take she couldn't take some of the emotional stuff anymore and was trying to just get peace and be at help and get education and she never woke up you know this lady took advantage of her and robbed her and killed her so it's crazy what people do